In the last several years, the dropshipping business model has taken the world by storm and you too can be a part of the action. So if you've ever wondered what the dropshipping business model is and how you can start and run a successful online business, then look no further because it's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoDS and as I mentioned, this video is all about the dropshipping business model, what it actually means, all of the ins and outs, and how you can actually start, run, and manage a successful online dropshipping business. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the action. One second before that, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, let's jump straight into it. What is dropshipping? So for those of you who don't know, dropshipping is an online fulfillment method which simply allows you to have your own online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock once a customer purchases one of the products from your store then you will go to your suppliers website and purchase the product and ship it directly to your customer your customer won't know that you are the middleman and you will keep the profit between your source price and your selling price if you're still confused do not worry about it I'm going to go further down into detail and not only what the dropshipping business model is, but how to actually start and create your own successful dropshipping store with the best dropshipping suppliers and more strategies that you need to know before you get started. It's always best to learn from other people's experience and successful people at that so you can learn from the mistakes of others when you're creating your own online business and not make the same mistakes yourself because again, it is a business and we need to treat it that way. Now, for those of you who are wondering, is dropshipping even legal in the first place? I mean, we're selling products from other suppliers without holding them in stock. The buyer doesn't even know that we're dropshipping it to them and they could have gotten it for a cheaper price if they would have went directly to that supplier. So is this even a legal business model? Is this something that we can actually do? The answer to that is of course, yes. Dropshipping has been around for over 10 years now and every year the numbers are increasing exponentially by regular dropshippers like you and I, not big companies that are into e-commerce. And on top of that, if you've ever bought anything online before, chances are you bought from dropshippers. For example, if you've ever bought anything from AliExpress, did you know that AliExpress is a marketplace where you have other dropshippers Chinese dropshippers who are dropshipping those items to you because you don't have access to the Chinese stores that they are purchasing those products from. AliExpress doesn't have any stock. So dropshipping has been around for a long, long time now and it's not going anywhere. It is a very profitable business model and a legal one at that too. The only thing is you need to know what things you need to do in order to keep it legal. For example, do not sell any weapons. Do not sell any ammunition or accessories to those. Don't sell anything that has to do with alcohol don't sell tobacco and don't sell vitamins supplements and things like that you are not an official reseller for medicine or for any of the other things that i just mentioned and you also want to stay away from big known brands you cannot start selling video game consoles like sony playstations microsoft xboxes as well as apple iphones samsung Gal galaxies and any other brand that you've heard of before that's because these products are are copyrighted, trademarked, patented, and so forth. Those companies do not want you to resell those products. On the other hand, you have billions of products from manufacturers and other sellers where they will be more than happy for you to resell their products on your website, on your store. So having said that, as a layer of protection, when you're just beginning your dropshipping journey and you're not sure what products you are and what products you aren't allowed to resell, if you're using automation tools like AutoDS, you have an extra layer of protection because when you try to import a product that you're not allowed to resell, you will get a warning message that this product is Vero, or in other words, eBay's verified owner rights program which of course applies to other selling channels but you will get a vera warning that this product you're not actually allowed to resell it along with the reason why you're not allowed to resell it and if you're sure that you want to continue with the import process so to sum it up dropshipping is a legal business model you have an extra layer of protection if you're going to use an automation tool like AutoDS, but you do need to stay away from those main points that i talked about in order to keep your store healthy and no surprise lawsuits that 
will ever come in to your email address. Now, another question that many people are asking before they get started, which helps them understand if they should get started is, is dropshipping profitable? Is it actually a business model that I can actually make some profit? Whether you wanna have it as a side job next to your main career, next to your full-time job, or if you even wanna have it as a full-time job, you want to know if this is a profitable business model before diving in. And the answer to that is not only is it profitable, it's very profitable. You just need to get started, get your hands dirty, and understand the ins and outs and what sells well and what doesn't. If you want to start making profit in dropshipping, you need to focus on a few main things. One is product research, and this is probably one of the most important things in your dropshipping journey. That is because if you're not selling the right products and it doesn't really matter how beautiful your store is and how well you marketed your products, if you're not selling products that people are, are looking to buy, you're not going to be making any sales. And this is definitely going to affect your profitability. And those who don't research their products well always end up asking, why isn't my store working? So product research is number one. The second is customer service. You want to offer the best customer service that you can because you want to have return customers and you also want your customers to refer their friends and family to purchase from your store when they'll see hey where'd you get those headphones oh i bought it from that store on ebay or on facebook marketplace or shopify or wix or whatever and they'll send a link to that product and then you'll get more and more sales so customer service is definitely number two on the list and will continue as we go on but all in all dropshipping is a very profitable business model and it gets even more profitable when you learn how to sell to different regions so if you see for example if you want to target the US audience and you find a whole bunch of trending products that the US market is looking for but on the other hand there's so much competition then you can also check that same product in the UK market in the Canadian market in the Australian market and many other regions that you have around the world. Once you figure all of this out, you'll start making substantial profits from your product research, from your customer service, and of course, targeting the right regions with your products. One last thing that I wanna add to is dropshipping legal is if you wanna start dropshipping to the US market or to the UK market or to whatever market, first know what market you wanna target. And of course, you want to try different markets to see the best results, but when you target your first market, for example, if I wanna target the United Kingdom, then I will make a quick Google search for United Kingdom e-commerce policies. Then you'll be taken to their government's website and see if there's any certain policies that you need to follow and stay legal within your business. But at the end of the day, you're making an extra income, so hire a local accountant to take care of your taxes and all the forms that you need to file every month and every year. And that is because you're making an extra income. And for most of the countries that I have experience with, you need to pay income tax and maybe other sorts of taxes when you are making an additional income or any income at that. So hire a local accountant and ask them what are the terms and conditions if you want to start a dropshipping business. Once you have all of that covered, your business will be legal and you can start making some great profits from the dropshipping business model. So we talked about the dropshipping business model, the legal issues, and its profitability. Now let's start learning how to begin dropshipping. So first, when you want to start off, you need to understand what products you are going to sell and what selling channels you want to sell them on. So it starts off with product research. By the way, quick note, I will leave a link to the blog article for everything that I'm going over in this video right below this video. So if you like to read, go ahead and read. Now product research, this is where you need to start off. You need to know what you want to sell and that you're actually selling it to the right audience. And after that, you're going to choose your selling channel and then you're going to start importing products from your product research using the suppliers that you found and actually import those products to your store. Let's take it step by step. Product research. How do we go about that? There are a few methods, a few different strategies for you to conduct product research. One of them, and my most favorite, is what we have built in the AutoZS system. It's free to use. All you have to do is click up here on the platform, click on product research, and here you have a whole bunch of trending products that you can easily analyze, see what the product's information is, the total amount of customer reviews, what supplier you can get them from, even though that doesn't really matter because once you want to import one of these products, all you have to do is click right here on import product and it'll be that simple to get that product from whatever supplier it's coming from 
to your store. So it's very, very simple. And here on the left side, you can click, for example, on popular products to see all of the products that have great user ratings from customers who actually bought that product. So as you can see here, you can find a lot of trending products and you have all kinds of information like, of course, the product's title, the image, the total shipping time. In this example, this wireless speaker wall mount right here will ship in just two business days. You have the item cost and the suggested retail price, which of course you can do whatever you want with that. You can click on the product to go inside the product page and read more information on this product so here for example we have that mount for that wireless speaker we have the products information the images what country it ships from the variations free shipping two business days and of course the products information specifications policies like return and shipping policies customer reviews and so forth so you can get a lot of information on the products that you are researching before you import them to your store and then adding them is as simple as clicking on import product right here this is once we are using automation tools once again like auto ds and you really need these automation tools to be able to scale your business and make substantial profits and not always limit yourself to a certain amount of profit that you'll never be able to grow more from that so here as i mentioned you have your popular products you have new products that we just added to the database you have holiday products so if there's any ever any holiday coming up you can prepare your store really really quickly with holiday products and you have u.s suppliers and china suppliers and soon we're also going to add wholesale drop shipping suppliers private wholesale drop shipping suppliers where you will have exclusive access to their products with high demand and a very low competition. That's gonna come up soon to our product research internal tool. But for now, let's put the automation system on the side. I don't wanna confuse you guys too much right at the start. So let's go back to product research. An additional method to research for products and see what is selling well is to go to websites like Amazon, which is a huge, huge, huge marketplace for all of the products that are selling today. And you can easily find trending products using Amazon. Let me show you how. So one example is to go to their movers and shakers page. On the movers and shakers, they show you all of the best selling items in the last 24 hours. So here you can get a good idea of what's selling and look for products that are similar to them and start adding them to your stores. You can even add the, these same products that are selling. So here, for example, movers and shakers in kitchen and dining, one of my favorite categories for drop shipping, you can see that there is a bottle shaker right here. And I actually have one of these when I go to the gym. You have food storage containers. You have have this 48 piece matte black silverware set which is special it's not just any silverware set but in matte black material which i'm assuming a lot of people are looking for i mean look you got 8274 4.5 star reviews just for this product so this is a good example of something that i would consider adding to my store when you start researching these products you don't only just want to add one specific variation you want to be able to, to test out anywhere between 20 to 30 different variations of every product idea that you're coming up with so in just one minute of product research i already found this product which actually looks pretty good and i would go deeper down into detail and see if this is something that i want to test on my stores so how would i do that in this example i know that the matte black is actually selling pretty well so what i'm going to do is highlight the main keywords for this product in this example it's a matte black silverware set i'm going to copy that and paste it in the search field to see if there are more variations of this product that I can test out on my store. And for those of you who are wondering if you should be creating a general store or a niche store at the start, the answer to that is start with a general store, see what is selling well, and from there, take your best selling items and your best selling categories and you can create a niche store from that but don't start off with a niche store because if you're in the wrong niche nothing in your store is going to sell and it was all a waste of time so you want to be able to test your products correctly before thinking about moving to a niche store so here's my search for matte black silverware and as you guys can see here we've got tons of different variations and if i wanted to i can add all of these variations to my store without even having to do it one by one and definitely not doing it the manual way copying all of the products information one by one to my selling channel so you can do all of that easily but i will show you that soon when we get to the importing process 
So this is another way to test what products are selling well, and you don't have to add them from Amazon if you don't want to. You can look for them using other suppliers and looking for the best price and those who can ship the fastest to the country that you are targeting. An additional method that I love to use for product research is the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. AliExpress is a dropshipping friendly supplier that's really trying to help you learn how to analyze and research the market and see what products you should be selling and they would also love to also be your dropshipping supplier. So you should add them to your list of dropshipping suppliers but of course also know all of the ins and outs since it is a Chinese supplier. Most of their products are shipping out from China which means no matter what other country you are targeting it could take a while to get there. So you want to be able to research the sellers really well on AliExpress, see that they've been on the platform for at least over a year and that their shipping time, response speed and item as described has a 4.5 or 4.6 and above average rating. So once you learn all of that, you can really find the best products from AliExpress and ship them really quickly. AliExpress also has multiple warehouses so you can try to search and see, for example, if you want to target Italy, you can search on AliExpress to see what products are coming from Italy that can ship to Italy, keep it domestic and therefore the shipping times will be quicker and your customers will be happier. No buyer wants to wait two weeks to get, to get their items. Most buyers want to wait one week or let's say two weeks weeks top max at the most anything more than that your customers won't be that happy and they probably won't return to buy from your store again some will but most won't so the aliexpress dropshipping center can help you find trending products to sell as you can see right here in front of me you can search for a specific keyword a specific product you can search by images and you can search from specific categories and also the ship from and ship to so this way like i just mentioned you can keep your shipping domestic and have fast shipping you can also filter by delivery time minimum and maximum price and other options and of course, you can sort your results by whatever is comfortable for you. So here you have a whole bunch of items that are trending according to AliExpress. Like this one, for example, has 253 orders with an average 4.9 rating. So what you can do is click on the analyze button and check out the sales history for this item. And then what you want to do is what I just did on Amazon is look for the main keywords of this product on any other supplier and just make sure that there are at least 20 to 30 different variations that you can test out. And if there aren't enough variations, that means that this product is probably not popular enough and not enough people are buying or selling them or manufacturing them. So once again, get your product ideas also from the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. This is going to give you a whole bunch of product ideas that you never even thought to sell before. There are multiple other methods and they are, they are all in the blog below, but I just shared with you my top two favorite methods for product research. Another, of course, would be to go to autods.com slash blog, our blog page, and see the product research articles that we have there. We also have a playlist on YouTube at autods.com slash YouTube. You have a playlist called the Sell These Now playlist, and we're always updating that playlist with the latest and the hottest dropshipping products that are trending right now for you to sell. And once again, if you're telling yourself, if you're asking yourself, if they are recommending the same products and thousands of people are watching this content and they're, they're going to go and look for those products and add them to their stores, then that means that there's gonna be a whole bunch of competition on the products that I'm recommending. You couldn't actually be more wrong because as I just mentioned, you can choose whatever market you wanna target. You don't only have to sell to the US or to the UK, for example. And you can also market your products in whatever way you want. We're gonna talk about also marketing soon. So if you wanna learn about more product research ideas once again go with what i just talked about in the last couple of minutes and also click on the blog article below and read about additional methods that you have there of course there are there are multiple methods one method is usually not better than the other you want to have a mixture of methods and see which ones are working well for you so we went over the basic things of dropshipping we know what the dropshipping business model means and anyone with an internet connection and a computer can own and manage a successful online business those are the two requirements and of course knowledge don't start without any knowledge start with this video and continue from there we know what the dropshipping business model means and we know that we need to research for products and find the best products to sell on our stores and in the beginning we're going to be testing a whole bunch of products without knowing what's going to sell and as i mentioned you need to spend hours and hours and hours of work on product research this is the most important part of your dropshipping journey and you're never going to stop researching for products now your next question may be 
I understand what the business model is, what the dropshipping business model is, and I understand that I need to research for products, but where am I going to search for these products? Because I just talked about Amazon and AliExpress, but there are so many more suppliers that you can use to look for products and source the products from them. If you want to get the best list of dropshipping suppliers, then simply head over to autods.com slash suppliers. Over there, we integrate with over 25 dropshipping suppliers with millions and millions of products for you to resell to any target audience that you see fit. Here is the suppliers page on AutoDS. As you see, we have a whole bunch of suppliers and also in different regions. So for example, if you want to target only the United Kingdom, if that is your target audience, then click on United Kingdom and you will see what suppliers we have that you can use to research for products and import products from these suppliers to your chosen selling channel. We're going to talk about selling channels in just about a minute. Now, if you want to know more about these suppliers, their pros, their cons, and their shipping times, if there are any additional fees, I'm going to leave a link right below this video to the top dropshipping suppliers article that will go more in depth in each and every one of these suppliers. So you can choose from there which suppliers will suit your business well. But you can use these suppliers for two different reasons. One is to research for products, and two is to import the products from them. You don't have to do both. You can only do one of the two or both of them if the supplier is good for you. So this is the best place for you to get the suppliers and of course read the blog that I will leave a link to below this video to learn more about these suppliers. Now let's move on to the next step. We understand what the dropshipping business model means. We know that we need to conduct fruitful product research and get at least 20 to 30 product ideas from each trending category or each trending niche that we see and test those products. We know where to go to look for those products and to research more trending products and now once we have the product list we have a whole bunch of products that we know we want to sell we need to understand where we're going to sell these products because we have different selling channels that we can drop ship on a selling channel is simply your online store where people are going to go to see your products and purchase them and pay you for them. So here I want to talk about the four top selling channels that you can use today for drop shipping. The first is eBay, the second is Shopify, the third is the Facebook Marketplace, and the fourth is Wix. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of each selling channel. For eBay, you have free organic traffic and it's very easy to get started. eBay has millions of customers that are simply ready and willing to buy products they're going to ebay to buy products and they're going to search for whatever product they're looking for and if you optimize your product title which is very very important to do especially on ebay you optimize the product title to be exactly what the customers are are going to search for and then they'll simply see your product and they'll purchase it from you you don't have to spend any money on marketing and creating an ebay account is completely free and plus they give you bonus listings to start off with it can be 100 200 or maybe even a few hundred free listings to get started so this way you can try before you buy and there are no expenses whatsoever on the other hand ebay limits new seller accounts with low selling limits they can start you off with only five to ten items and up to five hundred dollars in sales and then you have to call ebay once a month and ask them to increase your selling limits because you have so many items to sell and not enough space to sell them on because you have a new seller account on their platform let them know that you're all about customer service that you ship your items out on time and of course use the right item location for example if your products are coming out of china then on your ebay listing you want to fix the item location to show that it's coming out of china and don't lie and say that it's coming from the us or anything like that on ebay you want to keep your account safe new seller accounts are sensitive and ebay will look at you with a magnifying glass however once you pass those few bumps on the roads for new seller accounts your account can explode in sales you don't have any expenses only once you subscribe to an ebay store and you're only going to do that and pay a few bucks a month in the beginning after you make sales and profit so your expenses will be taken out of your profits that's one of the best things about ebay once again very easy simple platform to use for drop shipping. The second one is the Facebook Marketplace. The Facebook Marketplace is relevant to you if you live in the United States and you have a US social security number because those are Facebook's requirements for drop shipping on the marketplace. If you list an item, you're going to get you're going to have shipping options. If you have shipping options, then all of the 50 states in the United States are going to see your listing and there is little to no competition on the Facebook Marketplace whatsoever. So all you have to do is list 
items that are selling well on your suppliers websites you don't even need to research the market too much get those high quality items that are selling well from your suppliers websites see that they have good reviews so that you know that you're dealing with a high quality product list it on the facebook marketplace and watch it sell so one of the best things about the facebook marketplace of course is the low competition and you also have free organic traffic so you don't have to spend money on marketing if you want to learn more about facebook marketplace drop shipping we have a full case study video on our youtube channel and we have a lot of blog articles about it and the same thing goes for ebay we have a full ebay course we have a free ebay course a paid ebay course and so much content on ebay on our blog page and on our youtube channel so ebay and facebook are great selling channels for drop shipping another great advantage for facebook is that they have very very low transaction fees 40 cents or five percent of the transaction fee whichever is higher and that's it those are your expenses. No store subscriptions and no selling limits. You can list as many items as you want on the Facebook marketplace. Of course, you have to use shipping services like UPS, USPS, and FedEx. You can read more about that on the requirements to dropship on the Facebook marketplace and the full tutorial that we have. The third and fourth selling channels that you can dropship on is Wix and Shopify. Now, these two are almost the same. They both allow you to create a fully customizable website with your own domain name, meaning your customers are going to be yours they don't belong to ebay and they don't belong to facebook you're going to get their email addresses you can send them email marketing campaigns and so forth it is a fully customizable website so you're going to have your own www.mystorename.com and once again it's your store it's your customers but there is no organic traffic here so here you have to actually use traffic sources and pay them to bring traffic to your websites you can use all kinds of marketing techniques like facebook ads google ads influencer marketing platforms email marketing and so much more if you want to have a full a to z shopify course with about 40 video lessons all completely free on how to create your shopify store market it product research audience research going live with your store and analyzing your ads and scaling and everything that comes with it we have a completely free course for that at autods.com courses enroll in the free shopify course and enjoy that one now the same thing goes for Wix, no organic traffic, and you have to create your own website from A to Z, once again, just like Shopify, and you have to pay traffic sources to bring traffic to your website. On the other hand, once you have enough email subscribers and you actually built a huge email list, then you can use email marketing campaigns, which is used by the smallest to the biggest companies in the world because it is an effective marketing method and it won't cost you any money once you have a large customer base in your email addresses. So once you have enough email addresses, if you have a few hundred, then you can start sending out email campaigns even from free tools and get free marketing sales from there. Okay, so we went over the four top selling channels for dropshipping. So what do we know now? We know about the dropshipping business model. We know that we need to work hard on product research and then all of the items that we got from our product research, we want to sell them on our selling channels like eBay, Shopify, Facebook, and Wix. So we want to get the product from our suppliers' websites and import them to our selling channels. But how do we do this process of importing? Well, there's always the manual way of doing it which means okay i have my ebay store or my shopify store i'm going to go to my supplier's website and copy the title copy the, all of the images download them to my computer and upload it to there uh, copy all of the item description and the item specifications and all of that but if you want to make a substantial profits in drop shipping you have to have uh, a few hundred to a few thousand listings depends on your selling channel and your product research capabilities but you want to have as many listings as possible because at the end of the day it is a numbers game and you're not paying for these products as you know the dropshipping business model you don't have to pay for your inventory so list as many products as you can but on the other hand if you want to import thousands of products and you're going to do it one by one it's it, it could even take you months and what about price and stock monitoring how are you going to monitor all of the stock all of the stock changes when you're especially working with multiple dropshipping suppliers and all of the price changes you're not going to check out every product and refresh every page because then you will not be able to grow your dropshipping business you'll always be limited with, to the amount of work that you have because you're doing everything manually the second method of course is using dropshipping automation and this is how the biggest drop 
dropshippers in the world are working today. Nobody's working without an automation software. And once again, the reasons for that are pretty obvious. You're going to get automatic price and stock monitoring. So if the prices ever, ever change on your suppliers websites and you're you're, you're using their products on your selling channels, then the prices on your selling channel will adjust accordingly. Same thing if the price goes out of stock on your supplier's website, it'll also go out of stock on your stores automatically. And you can also use it to import products really quickly. So in just a click of a button, you can use AutoDS to import one or multiple products from your supplier's websites to your stores in just a matter of a couple of clicks and a couple of minutes. So it doesn't matter if you wanna import one, 10, hundreds, or thousands of products at once, it is a very quick and simple solution when you're using AutoDS to import products to your stores. Let me show you an example of how easy it is to get that done. There are a few different methods and you can learn all about them from our website. But one of my favorite methods is when you wanna import multiple products at once. So let's go back to that matte black silverware set. Now let's say that this is the first product niche that I wanna test out on my store. So what I'm going to do first is of course sign up to AutoDS, head over to AutoDS.com, create your account and add your store. It is a step-by-step -step process and everything is very straightforward. Now once you register to AutoDS and you added your store, the next thing that you want to do is download and install the free AutoDS Helper Chrome extension and then you'll get this little circle that you see down here. Now go to your supplier's website and search for the products that you want to add. Now when you have all of the products here, all of the search results, you want to click on that AutoDS circle. Next, we're going to click on extract. And as you see, all of the product IDs that we have on this page just got imported into this small little extension. Then I'm going to click on export as CSV and a CSV file will be created and downloaded onto my computer with all of these product IDs inside. Next, I'm going to head back to the AutoDS platform. On the left side, I'll click on add products and multiple products. Then I can choose what store or what stores I would like to publish all of these items to or all of these items on. I can also just copy the products URL or IDs right here, single or multiple items. But in this case, since I've got that CSV file, I'll click on the upload CSV. And if you guys see the AutoDS finder right here, you can also use that for product research. It will simply get items that are trending and it will add them to your stores without you having to do anything. Of course, you can check that out on our website. So here you're going to drag and drop that CSV file that was just downloaded onto your computer and the supplier source in this case was Amazon. The region is the United States. You're going to add them as a draft. And that's how easy it is to get thousands of products at once to the draft section of your store. What happens once it's on the drafts page is you'll be able to optimize these products like the title, the specifications, the variants, the images, and so much more. And once you're done with the optimization process, there's a button to import it to your store. From there, it will move from drafts to products, meaning it's now live on your store and anyone can go in and purchase it. So here's my drafts page, for example. Here I've got a medium wine glass and the destination is, a, is my eBay UK store using Amazon UK as the supplier. What I'm going to do is click right here to open up the quick item editor and then you can see all of the fields that I can actually optimize before importing this product to my store. And this is all a part of the automation process to save you a whole bunch of time when importing products to your store. And this is just one import method. So here we go, the quick item editor, as you can see, you have the title here, you've got categories, tags, what shipping methods you wanna use, your payment and shipping and return policies, the product's description, variants, images, item specifications, you can edit and change, configure anything that you want with this product. Of course, course, you've got product tags, which is very, very good. And it will help you analyze your products and see what niches are going actually really well for you. So there's so much to do here and so much time to save. This is how to import products really quickly to your store and only one method of how to do that. So now we know what the dropshipping business model means. I've said that plenty of times in this video, how to research for products and what to do once you have that product list, then you need to choose your selling channel. So we went over what selling channel channels are the best for dropshipping with their advantages and disadvantages, then you're going to get those products and import them to your chosen selling channels. And of course, you can choose different regions for your selling channels, except for the Facebook marketplace, which is only available for the US, Shopify, Wix, and eBay, you can open stores in any region that you want. So you don't only have to open in one specific region, you can test different regions and see what is selling well for each region and maximize the potential for each one. Now, 
Next comes order, order fulfillment. You have your products, you imported them to your selling channels using automation tools like AutoZS to save a whole bunch of time, also on product research, but especially when importing your products and monitoring your stocks, prices, and many more features like price automation settings and so much more that we have going on there. But those are the main things. Now you have your stores, you imported products to your stores, and what happens next is people will start buying your products. So you're going to start getting orders and you will be able to see them on the order screen on AutoDS. So once you head over to your orders page, you'll be able to see your orders and then you can decide if you want to process them manually, which means going to your supplier's website, adding your payment settings and paying for those items, shipping them directly to your end customers. However, once you will start reaching five or more sales per day, and that should start happening really soon when you've got everything down correctly, once you have multiple orders per day, you don't want to spend your time and waste your time on fulfilling your orders manually one by one, also getting confused with your different suppliers and your different payment methods and so forth. You can have all of this in one package using once again the AutoDS system. We have the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, which simply automates all of your orders 100% for you using AutoDS's buyer accounts. This means that you don't have to have a buyer account on your supplier's website, and this works for US suppliers using the US dollar currency. So all of your orders can be 100% automated, and your returns are 100% automated too. If you wanna start a return, you just need to switch the order status. So the orders come in in pending status, and they will move to automatic ordering and the status will move to ordered once the product has been ordered. It will move to shipped and automatically update your tracking numbers and update your customers with the tracking numbers once they're available from your suppliers as well as tracking conversions. So if you're using a tracking service that's not recognizable on the selling channel that you're using, the AutoDS can also help you convert those tracking numbers to make them trackable and readable by the end customer so they'll always know what's going on with their package and you will have your seller protection if any Anyone claims that they didn't receive their product, but the tracking details will show that it did arrive. So Fulfilled by AutoDS is going to save you the most amount of time. Your products are going to be ordered automatically, even while you travel or while you sleep. Your customers are going to get their packages in blazing fast speeds, and they're going to be that much happier and return to buy more products from your store. However, if you're using a supplier that's not a US supplier or that's not supported by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, we also have an automatic order service, which means we will be using your buyer accounts to fulfill your orders, but your orders will be processed automatically as well as tracking number updates. So one of these two methods is going to be the best for your dropshipping business because once again, the more we automate, the more we'll be able to scale and not limit ourselves. Now, besides all of these things that I talked about, those are all of the main topics for dropshipping and how to get started, but you do also have to take care of your customers with high quality customer service. I already talked about that in this video, but I wanna stress it out again. Customer service service is very, very important and you can easily manage your customer service also using the AutoDS system if eBay is your selling channel. But even if using other selling channels like Facebook or Shopify Wix, you can easily see your customer's messages in your email inbox or using your selling channel, using the platform to check for uh, customer messages. But don't miss out on your customer's messages. Answer to all their inquiries everything that they need if their item didn't didn't arrive or if the item isn't as described or anything that they want make sure that you are answering each and every one of your customers this is if you want to be here for the long term and i really hope that you are that pretty much covers the drop shipping business model and how to get started now of course there are so many more topics that we can talk about but we can't all put that in this video because it is long enough as it is so if there are any questions let me know in the comments below and i will personally answer them and i will leave links to many helpful resources that i went over in this video to help you guys out even more and of course stay tuned on our youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done so yet check out the kind of content that we deliver there as well as our blog page on autods.com blog and i hope that you guys appreciate the amount of content and value that we offer you to really help you get your dropshipping business off the ground and create a profitable one at that thank you for watching let me know if you need any more help and good luck with your dropshipping business